I remember when I was applying to BSMG programs as a senior in high school and searching through YouTube for anything college related, I came across a ton of videos of how I got into the Ivies, how I got into Stanford, and how I got into insert top 20 university. But there were very few videos related to how someone got into a BSMD program. So I'm making this video to add to this short supply of BSMD content. And hopefully this video is able to comfort anyone really confused or overwhelmed by the whole process. I'd like to share my stats, extracurriculars, and even my essays that got me into these programs. So let's get into it. What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. Shoot, I forgot something. Give me one sec. Almost forgot my coffee. What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. My name is Azir and I'm going into my third year inside the Union slash AMC BSMD program. So before I get into all the numbers of my application, I just want to remind you guys to try not to get caught up in the numbers too much and also don't compare yourself to what I did in high school. And this is because at the end of the day, every applicant is different. And once you meet the basic program requirements, such as a high enough GPA and high enough standardized test scores, then what it really comes down to is the story you create and how you present yourself inside your application. Even if you don't think your extracurriculars are as good as mine, you shouldn't stress over it, especially if you're a senior, because chances are you won't really have enough time to do another significant extracurricular, and instead you should focus your energy on perfecting your essays. So anyways, I know you guys have probably heard this like a million times and are probably still going to stress about it, so I'm just going to jump right into my stats. So I took the SAT three times and the first time I got a 1350 overall with a 660 inside the reading and writing section and a 690 inside the math section. The second time I got a 1430 with a 700 in the reading and writing section and a 730 in the math section. And then finally in the third time, I just about broke the 1500s. I got a 1510 overall with a 740 in the reading and writing section and a 770 inside the math section. And I also got an 18 on the essay, but I can't remember if I submitted my essays to all my programs or not. And I also took the ACT just once for fun and I got a 34 overall. Moving on to the subject test, I took chemistry and math too. When I was applying, most BSMB programs gave you the option of taking either the chemistry, physics, or biology subject test to meet their science test requirement. And then you also had to take math too. This requirement probably changed since the time I applied, but if it's still optional, I would recommend at least attempting these tests because honestly, Honestly, it doesn't require that much studying to get good scores. So for my chemistry subject test, I got a 770. And for my math two subject test, I got an 800. So moving on to my GPA, I had a 3.92 on weighted GPA out of four. And for my weighted GPA, I had a 4.16, which I have no idea what that means. So don't ask me. Most programs and schools that you apply to are really only going to care about your unweighted GPA. And if your school doesn't calculate unweighted GPA on a 4.0 scale, then the programs will likely convert your GPA to a 4.0 scale just to make sure that every applicant is being seen the same. As for my courses, I took 13 AP classes in high school and I also took a bunch of pre-IB classes in freshman and sophomore year because I was actually in an IB school before I moved. Also, I'm not going to mention my AP scores because I actually didn't submit any of my scores just because most schools didn't really require them or care for them. Definitely not because I did bad on most of my tests. And then final thing to consider is your ranking in high school, but my high school only ranked the salutatorian and valedictorian, which I was neither. So. So I believe there's five spots in the Common App to list honors and awards. And so in my Common App, I included the following awards, but I don't remember which order I put them in my application. My first award was that I was actually an FBLA national finalist two times, first in PSA and then the second time in digital video production. My second award was that I won best speaker in Junior State of America or JSA for short at both the national level and also the state level. My third award was the Presidential Volunteer Service Award, which I got for working at the hospital for more than 100 hours. The next award I received was the NSDA Excellence Award, which I really only got for like attending several national conferences and not really winning anything. And then finally, for some reason, I put down the AP Scholar Award. I don't know if this is a good strategy or even the right strategy, but for organizations that I got more than one significant award in, I just listed it as one award to give myself more space to include other things. But looking back at this list, I don't know why I listed that I was an AP Scholar. Like, it's honestly kind of embarrassing. <laughs> Anyways, next let's talk about my extracurriculars. So the first extracurricular I put down was Future Business Leaders of America or FBLA for short. This was a huge part of what I did in high school and I actually joined FBLA in seventh grade and then continued all the way till 12th grade. Throughout high school, I held several local level positions, a state level position on the New York State Public Relations Council, and I was even a candidate for New York State president. I also think this was a major reason as to why I got accepted into the Union AMC BSMD program because it showed that while I was interested in medicine, I was also interested in 
business. And then for my next two extracurriculars, I call these the basic activities of applying to any combined degree program. And that is I was a hospital volunteer and I also shadowed a doctor. I volunteered at a nearby hospital for over a hundred hours. And I also shadowed a nephrologist for about 50 hours. So my next extracurricular was I was a member of JSA for my freshman and sophomore year of high school in which I would attend weekly meetings with my school chapter. And I also attended one state conference and one national conference through the organization. I was also elected as vice president of my school chapter at the end of my sophomore year, but sadly I moved. So nothing really happened to that. My next extracurricular was doing Congress in speech and debate. And through NSDA, I actually attended a bunch of national conferences and I was actually really heavily involved in this organization, my freshman and sophomore year of high school. So although I did it a lot, I actually only qualified as a semifinalist once and I actually bombed that round. So yeah, that's why I didn't continue doing Congress in my junior and senior year. So for my next extracurricular, I actually did a medical mission trip in Jaipur, India for three weeks. And it was honestly probably one of the most memorable experiences throughout all of high school. I went the summer of my junior year and I got to work in a mobile medical van with a medical team to provide care in rural areas. I remember it being really difficult to see the conditions that these people were living in and also the extent to which they lacked access to medicine. But as you'll see from my Why Medicine essay, this whole experience was really inspirational. And then for my last extracurricular, I was involved in American Cancer Society for my freshman and sophomore year of high school. And I helped my school organize the Relay for Life event twice. And we actually raised over $100,000 for cancer research. And now the part of the video that many people probably skip to, the essays. Before I share my Common App and Why Medicine essay, I just wanna remind you guys to please not plagiarize anything I share. Take what you can from my essays, but at the end of the day, your essays are gonna be a reflection of you. And so your essay and my essay will be very different. So funny story, as I was planning to make this video, I went back and actually read my Common App essay and thought of having to read it out loud kind of made me cringe. So I'm just gonna share it. It's at a Google Doc down below inside the description box. When I was writing my Common App essay, I was really focused on trying to share my personality as much as possible, making sure my essay was memorable and unique, and making sure it had a theme. For some reason, I ended up choosing to relate myself to the aromatics in biryani, and it's just really weird, and that's why I refuse to read it out loud, but yeah. So now is the moment I'm gonna share for what it seems like the first time ever on YouTube, the Why Medicine essay, which got me into BSMB programs. This is one of the most important essays which many programs require you to write, and for the most part, it'll stay the same when applying to different programs, but each program usually requires you to mention why you want to attend their specific program in the essay. So I'll now be sharing my Why Medicine essay, which got me into Drexel's program. From a young age, my answer to what do you want to be when you grow up was one without much hesitation, Spider-Man. Although my fascination with Spider-Man was prompted by his arachnid abilities and swagger, my true admiration for him was because of his strict devotion to helping others. Eventually, I realized that it was highly unlikely that a radioactive spider would bite me. Helping others, however, was not so far out of reach. With this in mind, I decided I wanted to be a doctor. I wasn't exactly sure what these six letters meant, but I knew, like Spider-Man, doctors devote their lives to serving others. In the following years, I was intent on becoming a physician. However, it wasn't until I moved to New York before my junior year of high school that medicine took on new meaning, when my mother pursued her own dream of returning to medical school. As my mother labored over her studies, I witnessed the sacrifice demanded from each physician. Of course, my mom pursuing the medical path didn't mean I had to as well, but this past year, I found my purpose for medicine. In May of 2019, my grandfather, my abu, passed away. My grandpa lived in Florida with my cousins. Two weeks before he passed away, he was visiting Pakistan and had a sudden onset of pneumonia. When my family and I received the news, we were relieved the diagnosis was not worse. However, due to the poor conditions in the hospital and the lack of access to vast medical resources, my grandpa passed away a few days after. The hardest pill to swallow is that it was global healthcare disparities that led to his death. No matter how hard I tried, I refused to be okay with the idea that I lost my grandpa because of such a gap. So instead, his loss inspired a new lifelong mission, to pursue medicine to improve domestic and international healthcare. I hope to provide access to modern medicine in underserved American communities, while also practicing abroad to further educate doctors and staff in creating healthier, more effective medical environments. Now, after experiencing both the miracles and tragedies associated with medicine, there is nothing else I can see myself doing in the future, which is why I'm pursuing the straightforward medical path offered through accelerated programs. Within the Drexel program, I can be tasked with intellectually challenging concepts in world-renowned academia, while also participating in organizations that enable me to provide care in impoverished areas. Through the unique Foundations and Frontier curriculum offered at Drexel, I can learn hands-on, applying my studies beyond the classroom to real medical cases and settings. When I'm not in the Henneman Library, I hope to educate and provide services to underserved communities through the Health Outreach Project. Additionally, I will utilize innovative programs such as Bridging the Gaps to lessen the rural and urban healthcare gap across America. And most notably, in my fourth year of medical school, 
labeled the Global Health Education Initiative will empower me to spread my knowledge across the globe, providing care to those, like Abu, suffering the consequences of healthcare inequalities. What began as an uncertain response to a question has transformed into a deep held desire to dedicate myself to a lifelong career in medicine. Sure, superheroes and spandex are great, but it's superheroes in white coats who saved the world. So yeah, that's my essay. I think there's definitely many ways to go about writing this essay, but one part of my essay that was really strong is that I made it clear what my goals in medicine are, and then I basically created my story around that. After reading my essay, anyone can tell that I'm really passionate about improving access to healthcare in rural areas, but I didn't just flat out say that. I explained everything that led up to that realization. However, my essay is definitely far from perfect, and there's a ton of ways that I could have improved it. And honestly, I think it would help if you guys thought about the ways that I could have improved my essay, and then incorporate your improvements into your own essay. So that's basically my entire application summed up. And I hope that if you guys are going through this process or about to go through this process, that it gives you some insight and clarity. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys next time.